Warning, please do not learn or attempt to use this opener if you are beginner, intermediate, or expert. If you still insist on trying this opener, I think that you should really know what you're doing. A lot of beginners think that they know what they're doing, but they don't. So here's a short quiz to make sure you're not a beginner. I'll give you five seconds to solve a puzzle in which you send two teaspoons. Okay, here it is. Did you get it? Here's the solution. Okay, now that you've shown that you're not a beginner, let's go over the opener. The pigeon is an opener that begins with a T-spin double and uses the S piece propped against the wall and a flip J piece for the T-spin well, and then a Z piece is used for the overhang. I will sometimes use an L piece instead of the J piece here, but it's arguable whether or not you could actually call that the pigeon. Of course, you could also do the mirror to this, but I will leave that as an exercise for the reader. Before I go into any depth about the follow-ups and differences between some of the variations, I should first sell you on the opener. Here's a clip of Fox using this opener to take a game off of door meme. Unfortunately, that is the only clip of Pigeon ever taking a win, but what can you expect? There are only two Pigeon practitioners, and one of them is, uh, it's me. Uh. There are two Pigeon variations that I use. I named them Variation Penis and Variation Butthole. But since I know the modern Tetris community is so incredibly mature, I'll just call them Variation 1 and 2. Pigeon Variation 1 is a setup with the I piece against the wall and the O piece on top of the L. This variation will always lead into an incomplete TST, which will then usually lead into an actual TST. I'll put the ideal follow-up on screen right now. The worst bags are when you get an early O. While you can still donate to get an incomplete TST, which I will sometimes do, like an idiot, it's probably a lot safer to just use some of the third bag and go for an actual TST. There are sometimes cases in which the incomplete TST does not lead to an actual TST, but instead leads to a normal T-spin double. Some of these require a Z-spin instead of J-spin, and then a tiny little donation. If necessary, you can also place the O piece on top of the L piece, and this will usually lead to easy T-spin doubles after the incomplete TST. This is what I'll sometimes do when I'm doing 20 TSD runs. Now I know what you're thinking. David, these don't look like follow-ups. It looks like you're just freestyling after doing the initial setup, and quite badly as well. I have two things to say to you. First thing is, don't call me by my last name. That's weird. The second thing is that I'm now going to explain Pigeon Variation 2. Pigeon Variation 2 is what I typically use in 20 TSD runs when TKI doesn't work. Pigeon 2 is the variation with the I piece against the wall, and the L is flipped on top of the O piece for the donation. After the initial T-spin double, with an early J piece, you can do a J spin and get a clean T-spin double follow-up. When you don't get the J piece in time, there's usually some kind of T-spin single you can do to clean up the messiness. Honestly, this is my last choice for an opening, just because there's a chance that all you can get out of it is a TSD and then a TSS. Now that you've seen what the Pigeon actually entails, let's discuss its actual strengths and weaknesses. When I play Tetris, I tend to focus primarily on T-piece efficiency. As that's the case, this opener often sacrifices speed in order to maintain that efficiency. Almost every second bag for this opener will require at minimum one soft drop, sometimes two or even three. I don't really care that much about soft drops since I'm a slow player anyway, but if you're playing against like Blarg or something, that might be enough to just kill you. I think that the two main strengths of this opener is the large amount of bag that this opener works with, and the surprise factor that it entails. The only times you can't build some form of pigeon is when both T, S, and Z piece arrive before L or J. So some form of pigeon will be possible for most bags. As mentioned earlier, the other strength is the surprise factor. If the opponent ever looks at your board at the beginning, they'll just assume that you misdropped. That's how bad the opener looks to the uninitiated. I can sometimes destroy Misamino in piece for piece because it thinks the pigeon is so bad it'll just start stacking and not realize that I have damage ready to send. There's so much more I could say about the pigeon and so much more to be discovered. I first started using the pigeon about a year and a half ago when trying different openers for 20 TSD. Someone on Reddit discovered the pigeon independently from me, I think. Uh, I desperately messaged Blink to let me make a wiki page for it because I was scared people would learn about the opener from mosquito.207 or whatever their name is instead of from me and call it the reddit or something terrible 
Fox began using this opener within the last month and found a pigeon PC possibility that I had never seen. So even though I've been doing this for so long, there's so many possibilities yet to be discovered and a future of pigeon droppings that I'm very hopeful for. Thank you for watching.